Administration of medication via intravenous injection through a peripheral cannula. Clean hands as per trust policy. Check eMeds cardex for medication, dose, date and time of administration, route, method of administration, allergies and sensitivities, and time of last administration. This is to ensure that the patient is given the correct medication in the prescribed dose by the correct route using the right method at the right time. Check all details with a registered healthcare professional competent in IV administration. This is to minimise the risk of error following trust policy. Place syringes and wipe in a clinically clean receiver tray. Clean hands as per trust policy and proceed to the patient. Explain and discuss procedure with the patient and check the patient's ID. This is to ensure the patient understands the procedure and gives consent. Inspect the insertion site of the cannula. This is to detect any signs of inflammation, infiltration, and if those are present, the appropriate action must be taken as per the care plan. Again, clean hands as per policy and apply apron and non-sterile gloves. Then clean the needle-free device with a canal wipe for at least 15 seconds and leave to air dry. Inject 5 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride for injection via the needle free device. This is to confirm the patency of the cannula. Check that there is no resistance, no pain or discomfort felt by the patient, and no swelling is evident or leakage occurring around the cannula. This ensures that the cannula is patent and correctly positioned. Then connect the syringe containing the medication to the needle free device. Inject the medication smoothly into the cannula over the recommended time of administration, observing the cannula insertion site throughout. This is to prevent excessive pressure within the vein. Once the medication has been administered, disconnect the syringe and flush the cannula with 3 to 5 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride for injection. This is to flush any remaining medication away from the cannula site. Dispose of all waste at the point of care adhering to trust policy. This is to minimise the risk of sharp injury and to prevent cross contamination. Clean hands as per policy and then record the administration of the medication on the patient's fluid balance chart and document in the care plan. This is to maintain accurate records and prevent duplication of treatment.